Crude oil is constantly seeping from sites on the ocean floor. Natural seepage leaves large amounts of oil in world's oceans. Even before the Deepwater Horizon oil disaster in the Gulf of Mexico, an estimated 160,000 tons of oil escaped every year. The heavier part of it sinks to the seabed, where it's broken down by bacteria. They live off substances in the oil, substances that are toxic for animals and humans. Marine researchers in Bremen are trying to find out how the bacteria break down the poisonous compounds. What new substances are produced? Which components disperse in the water? And what stays behind? What's left is a very hard, asphalt-like substance. This hard substance is used by deep-sea animals as a substrate. Even corals can ultimately colonize it. But aren't these asphalt clumps toxic? Most of the toxic substances have been degraded out of the asphalt. Bacteria on the ocean surface can break down the light components of the oil. In fact, they do so very rapidly. The problem is that their biodegrading activity removes oxygen from the water, turning whole sections of the oceans into environments hostile to life. The fast bacteria with oxygen available to break down the oil are the important ones that clean up after an oil spill. But the biggest amounts of oil are broken down under situations where no oxygen is available. We want to know what kinds of microorganisms can do that and what kind of diversity there is. Very little is known about these bacteria that live in the remains of oil on the sea floor. But that is set to change. The scientists have been collecting samples from around the world. In the Gulf of Mexico, they sent a diving robot down 3,000 meters to pick up some relics of oil remnants, along with the bacteria that break down the oil. The chemical transformations take place under extreme conditions. There's no sunlight down there. The water temperature is 2 degrees Celsius, and the pressure is enormous. The samples turn out to exhibit remarkable diversity. Many types of bacteria break down the oil simultaneously. It's a complex substance made up of as many as 2,000 different compounds. To study these oil chompers more closely, the biologists have set up a culture. So far, only a few species have been successfully cultured. The scientists can study how the biodegradation is affected by environmental influences, such as salt content and water temperature, the presence of nutrients or the pressure. Some bacteria specialize in particular substances, others eat their way through a range of compounds. But the scientists say it would make little sense to try to produce them in large quantities. As far as we know, in the case of oil spills in the ocean, the microorganisms that live there are adapted to the conditions of their environment. So they will always work more rapidly and in a more sustainable way to break down the oil than bacteria that have been cultured in a lab. That means the residue of an oil catastrophe will eventually vanish, but it's still unclear how long nature will need to transform it into non-hazardous asphalt. Some researchers say the process could take thousands of years.